everyone? Can I have your attention for just a little bit? I know tonight's a fun night, but we do have to spend some time going over the rules and thanking some people that made this all possible. To start with, my name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of the best town around, Whitbridge Township. This is our 10th annual Mayor's Fluke Tournament, and there's never been one better. Never been one better. We're at 72 boats. 72 boats. And we have 80 door prizes, so by the time I'm done talking, we may have eight more boats. I'd like to quickly introduce Corey Spiller, our third ward councilman from Avenel and Fort Reading. Nancy Drum, our first ward councilwoman from Woodbridge and Seaward. Now, you know, when I say we're the best town around, I truly mean it, and tonight is one of the examples why. There are so many people here tonight helping out two families in need, and I just can't say how good I feel and how proud I am to be the mayor of this great town with so many great people. Let me start with two of the best people I know in Woodbridge Township. Neither one lives here, but that doesn't matter. They both work here, so they both spend an awful lot of time here in Woodbridge Township. I've said for a long, long time we have the best police force in Woodbridge Township. Not only are they the best police, but every time I turn around, there's people on our force doing things for our community. Bobby Brady and Al Dudas have been doing this tournament since 2007, when they first came to me and said, and I'm a reasonable fisherman, I go out a little bit, I'm not a great fisherman, but I love fishing, and when they said to me, we want to have a mayor's fluke tournament, what do you think? I said, what is this, a trick question? Of course we will. And they said, we'll raise money for a cause, we'll usually get children involved, and the first year I think we had 30-something boats? 30s, 40s. 30s, 40s, and then 30, then 40s, 50s, and then last year, 50-something, and this year, 72 and counting. These two guys, when I say they work hard, that is such an understatement. They spend hours and hours. Think about just, just behind us, there's 80 door prizes. Do you know how much time it takes to get out there, write letters, make phone calls, and try to get donations for an event like that? And by the way, you've all been very generous, but it's not an easy job and logistically put together the tournament, put together the rules, get the people to show up in the back there, and just do what it takes to collect the money and everything. I'm telling you, I'm so proud of these two guys, our 10th annual. We've I will bet if you counted up all the money they've raised in those 10 years, it's probably somewhere around 150 grand, maybe more, maybe more. So this is Al Dudas, this is Bobby Brady. They are part of Woodbridge's finest, and I'm really, really proud of the job they do. I'm gonna ask them to say a few, uh, you probably don't wanna say a few words, but you will. All right, go ahead, say a few words. I wanna thank everybody for coming, especially the people that come every year and it's making it a routine. Um, I just wanna read off real quick, um, our sponsors because for the donations that we got this wouldn't be possible hold it closer, hold it closer. this wouldn't be possible so I'm trying to go as fast as I can um, I want to recognize uh, these businesses we got Bell Ford we got Dana trucking all car towing dependable iron American auto salvage Costello grinder Royal Alberts Lucas Chevrolet Raz's towing RPM warehouse American towing B&L towing SGR petroleum caravan motors Lee's Auto Body, Atlantic Tire, BP Gas Station, Heavenly Auto Body, Glass on Auto Repair, Lee's Bill Auto, Echo Engines, Loman Ford, JAB Auto, Gem Limousine, O'Brien's Garage, a and Tree, Bruce's Auto Wreckers, SSR Landscaping, Skoda Construction, Tommy, Royal Battery, Lowe's, page two, Avenel Home Depot, Lisa and Timmy right over there. There's our Home Depot connection right there. Everybody give them a round of applause. I'll tell you what, the Home Depots in Linden and Woodbridge and Avenel really can't do with the door prizes. Then we got uh, Woodbridge Auto Porch, John the Real Guy, Lockwood Marine, Rio Diner, Extreme Rods, 
Ray Ray, where's Ray at? Ray, stand up a minute. On the raffle, Ray donated a $300 custom rod. With whoever wins the fishing rod, go see Ray because it's going to have his name on there. You will have your name put on there and whatever logo you want to so see Ray after the uh, the fun. Then we got um, Olive Garden, Dockside Bait and Tackle, Rich and Linda. We got the Misty Morn Fishing Trip, Ed and Murphy's Auto Repair, Danny's Towing, Keyport Marine. I want to say special thanks to PA Construction for donating the food. We got Snapple Distributors. We got Abby Lumber. Eric from Vantage Custom T shirts. Where's Eric? Stand up, Eric. This gentleman here donated all the t-shirts for 10 years now, for free. We got Best Buy, we got Brandywine, we got Richie at the Loop Inn, Albert's Palace, Robert Goodman, attorney at law, Falcon Supply, Miller Buick, Longhorn Steakhouse, Avenel Pools, Linden Home Depot, we got Fishtails Bait and Tackle, the Bottle Giant in Woodbridge, Bayshore Refinery, the Sandwich Station in Carvel, Bullseye Tactical, Conrad Grill and Chick Fil A. Can't hear it. Gentlemen, can you please give us 15 minutes of quiet, if you don't mind? People can't hear in the back, and this is important that we recognize people who helped us. Please give us 15 minutes. Now I'd like to ask Bobby Brady if you want to say a few words. I'll give you. Thanks, Yeah, I just want to. I just want to thank everybody here. I'll do this. Without the generosity of the people, we could never do this. And we spend a lot of time looking at the bad side of people. So when we get the opportunity to do something, especially for the kids, it just it makes it all worth it. And again, we couldn't do it without the generosity of everybody. It makes us feel so good when we go around to these places, we tell them what the cause is, and they bend over backwards to try and help us. So again, we, we appreciate that. So thanks again. One more time for Bobby Brady and Al Dudas. Yeah, yeah, stand up for these guys. Give me some of that. Come on, man. There's some more people here we would like to thank. From the New Jersey State Police, Tom Espinosa in the back. Thank you for coming out, Tom. He doesn't have to be here. I'd be probably not even getting paid, but that's okay because he's out here volunteering his time. From the Knights of Columbus here, now, one of our honorees, David Health, got a couple of months ago, at six weeks ago or so, had a fundraiser here. The Avenel Knights went above and beyond to help this young man. Tom Krieger, Jim Faris, Greg Schmidt, and John Social. Let's hear it for the Avenel Knights of Columbus. We got the best breakfast and lunch place around, not just bagels across from Town Hall. KJB! Sherry McCall. Now, yesterday, yesterday Sharon's daughter got married. So she could have mailed it in today. She could have said, you know what, guys? This is the one year I can't do it. I just can't make it happen. She probably stayed overnight in Jersey City after the wedding and got up in the morning and went right to Not Just Bagels and made all these subs and made everything happen. She could have mailed it in and said, not this year, not me, not now. But last night she was saying to us, I got to get up. I can't not do the fluke tournament. <laughs> Sharon McCall. From the U.S. Coast Guard, another guy that does not have to be here tonight on a Friday night in June. He could be doing a bunch of different things. John Crincoli in the back from the U.S. Coast, Coast Guard. What you do? Lisa from Moby Dix donated a whole lot of food. Moby Dix. We love Lisa. We love Moby Dix. The woman behind Al Dudas, Denise Dudas. Thank you very much. And she did all 
lot of work on her own. Forget the fact that she's unfortunately married to Al. <laughs> she's helping out in her own right. Lisa Dudas. Where's Bill Seriano? Where's Bill? Bill in the back. Thank you very much. Also in the back, Sharon and Jimmy Leschak. Thank you for your work. Drew Tuttle, thank you very much. Gail Marchetti, thank you very much. And before, before we call up the two families, let's just go over the rules really quick. You can do that, Al? Officer Amara, working tonight. Oh, Officer Amara, working tonight from the Woodbridge PD. You can do the rules? What about the... Do them where? Oh. Prox first and rules? Oh, we'll do some proclamations now. This is who? This is Eric Wukic. From where? Panthers Cushion T-shirts. The guy who provided all of the T-shirts for this entire tournament for 10 years in a row from Inavanel Vantage Custom Classics, their CEO. Think about that. The T-shirts, all the T-shirts for free for 10 years. Vantage Custom Classics CEO, Eric Wukic. <laughs> Jimmy Felici, that's working the back. I said that's his name. Oh, he said his name. I said his name. This is from Bell Ford. From Bell Ford, Mark Chihinko. Any, any salesman from Bell Ford here? Anybody from Bell Ford in the house? All right. From uh, Comfort Suites, and what's the one next to it? Uh, Fairfield. Fairfield Suites. Richie Bojani. Not here. Not here. <laughs> From Royal Albert's Palace, the very generous Albert Chassani. Where's she from? Mr. Silverstein, he donated the toys and... and uh... You're about to see in about three minutes what Rob Silverstein does every year. And I can't ruin the surprise for, uh, for this young lady, but Rob Silverstein donates an amazing amount of money to fill that boat, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, Rob Silverstein, where is he? Not here. Not here. Sean from B&L Tony. What do you do? What do you do? Donation every year, heavy donator. A big donor every year, every single year. Let's hear it for B&L Tony and Sean. Where's Sean? I'd like to call up Doretta Helfgott and to, to say a few words about her son Dave. Please give her the respect of a few minutes. Thank you, everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to give you a little picture of what it is that you're doing to help children in this township. And I brought a, a two-minute speech with me, so bear, bear with me. There was a time when my son David was the picture of health, aside from having autism. He was such a cooperative child that there, was, there were no limitations on where we travel or what we did. Growing up with only one parent by his side and one income to support him, we enjoyed simpler pleasures. Life was livable despite a few disadvantages and we were thankful. During David's late teens, he began developing so many unrecognized and diverse conditions that his care increased to around the clock effort. At times, his schedule and needs ran our family into the ground. We've sacrificed our time, our sleep, our health, and our resources to discover which imbalances were afflicting him. Now all we want to do is end his suffering and enjoy our lives with the simple pleasures that we once knew. Much has been learned, but much is required because the recommended treatments for his rare conditions along with his numerous office visits are not covered. Until recently, I've taken care of my children, myself, with the fortunate opportunity of having my parents' house to move into. This year, my um, David's loving sister, Stephanie, quit her job to support her brother at home.
but never did it cross our minds that David's needs would become so overwhelming that it would take the support of our community to regain his health. As the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child, but we are exceedingly blessed by our beloved Woodbridge family who would be willing to extend their hearts even further to bring hope and healing to sick children like David. And so with tremendous appreciation, we thank our village, sending gratitude to all of you who are participating in the fluke tournament, our police officers who are hosting the event, the Knights of Columbus for donating the hall, the business supporters, volunteers, and our outstanding mayor, John McCormick, who never falls short of excellence. Last but not least, we thank our Heavenly Father for graciously answering our prayers. Thank you so much. For everybody, this is young David right here. And I hope the money that we raised tonight is going to help David out. Give David a big hand. I also should mention that last September, the uh, JJ Bidding Brewing Company on 33 Main Street always has their brew fest. And their brew fest was uh, in honor of David, and they did a Mike Cerami and JJ Bidding did a great job raising money for David. So, a very, very worthwhile cause. Thank you. Thank you for being here, Doretta. And now I just met a very special young lady tonight. I wasn't even sure she was going to be here tonight. But she is, and it's such a thrill that she is. Um, all I can say is I started talking to Gabby, and we're just having a chat, and Gabby starts telling me that she wants, she's been going to, what was it, what, what, since two years old, what was it? The shelter? What was the thing she goes to every year? Goes to feed the homeless every year since she was two. She's five now or six now? Five. And Gabby said to me that she's giving her old toys to kids who don't have any toys who are younger than her. Where does a five-year-old come up with that? How does a five-year-old think of things like that? It, but it, the upbringing is just fantastic. Gabby, can you come over here? Now, I want you to hold this and tell everybody what you're thinking about right now. I've been thinking that I wanted to say thank you for all of the support and prayer and for everybody taking care of us. Wow. <laughs> Rosemary is the godmother, and Marie is the mom. Yes. We wanted to say thank you. It's been really rough on um, Gabby and her mom, but there has been so many people that have stepped up from the beginning. I mean, we found out when she was two. And yesterday, they told us that she is in remission. So we can't <laughs> about giving her toys oh, to someone less for how does that happen with a five-year-old how does she get up here and speak the way she does she's not shy true. no but i mean I, I don't know am i do five-year-olds do what she just did i mean how does that happen i don't know she's unique she's gabriella like she's saying gabriella she's she's unique she's too much what she was saying? Oh, she's smart. She said she's smart. She's smart. Yeah, that's what she's smart. She's smart. She's beautiful. She's personable. She's articulate. She's everything. Anything else you want to say, Gab? Why do you want to, why do you think, 
it's important that the, the toys you have that you don't use anymore, why is it important that you give them to some other young kid? Because the, the kids that doesn't have any need to give them away. Wow, where does that come from? <laughs> what happened? You're, you're amazing. You know, you're the coolest little kid in all of Woodbridge. Yeah? All right, let's hear it for Gabby. I'm dropping everything here. We have two envelopes. Doretta, this one's yours. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let me... And Maria, could you please come up and accept this envelope? And once again, for the two of you, this doesn't happen without these two guys. It doesn't happen without these two guys. So thank you very much. And there's several other little things happening. People are donating tonight. People are probably going to donate before they leave after hearing both of you. So we'll, we'll collect everything and get it to you. Now I'd like to ask Al to go over the uh, rules and regulations. One last thing. Oh, one last thing. Uh, just a, uh, a note that uh, Robert Silverstein, he's the father in law of my wife, Denise. He's a businessman down in Monmouth County. He's not even from our county. And he makes this thing happen. And uh, what we do is we have a wish list. And we get, like, uh, this year, uh, Rob Silverstein donated a little bit more money. Um, Doretta asked me uh, that her son wanted a computer, so we have a, uh, a gift card here for a few hundred dollars for Best Buys for a computer for David. So that's for you. You know, this thing takes, like, three, four months to put together, and it's very stressful. My wife will tell you, I, I don't sleep at night sometimes, and Bob will tell you all the running around and do it. Sometimes I feel like throwing a towel in, like I'm done, turn it over to somebody else. I did it for 10 years. But to see what we do, me and Bob, to change their lives for a little girl like this and David, to help these families that are struggling, I'm gonna keep doing it. Yes. We're going to show, by the way, if Al and Bob ever give this up, they're going on midnights. <laughs> With no brakes, no police car. <laughs> oh, you're not heavy. Okay, you've got something really cool happening right now. Just pay attention. See those two guys, Bob and Al? You've been seeing them for a while. They're bringing something up for you. Can you make room down the middle here? Everybody in the middle, please move to the side.